Well, it's a real honor to be here. Um, great musicians. And Carol Denny uh, playing three songs as it lie. Really incredible. I'm going to be reading from my book on Third Street, Jack Kerouac Revisited, which Lawrence Filangetti says is my best title. Uh, it's got a blurb from Noam Chomsky. Uh, and it, Noam, Sh Noam says, but one of those rare moments of a little tranquility. If I reflect, dedicated to Rosemary Mono and Benny Renoir. Don't put your foot on the chair. The bar stool is with your lifting. The taste of grass makes me contemplate compatibility. The scene switches and I'm with two bohemian cohorts and a beer and a joint and a place to go later on. It still tastes like grass, so I drink and touch a naked girl's breast. I speak with a madman who makes sense. You watch people go by. As time stands still, I understand the contemplation of the roads. And I ride the bus with the wheelchair, which comes to a stop. And the homeless sleep on the street, with nothing between them and the concrete but cardboard, and nowhere to go until they are housed. I am the essential link to the guardian angel, dedicated to call reader. They appear in my dreams. When I awake, I hear their voices. I look out the window and see a homeless person. A guardian angel is disguised as a homeless person. Then I go to the bus stop, and they are all over the place. We are guardian angels of each other. In my dream, I ask the guardian angel if he knew a poet. I realized that I was matching up that angel with the poet. I woke up because I didn't want anyone to die. Most importantly, I think the guardian angels are there to accompany you to the world after life. I met my guardian angel in my dream. He is a wonderful man. Aggressively subtle politician looking for a big political change, conversion of liberal labs for peaceful purposes, military budgets funding social needs, gifts for everyone, we need everything. And I should mention, I am trying to be a write-in candidate for Mayor of Berkeley. Uh, and one of my ideas is on my first day, December 10th, to have tents in Provo, Ohlone, and uh, Provo, Ohlone, and Homo. Willard, Willard Park. So homeless people do not have to sleep on concrete sidewalks. That's called compassion. And I will bully every politician if I don't get into office to make sure that does happen. I'll make them feel guilty. I don't care what it takes. You know. um, also, home, also housing, affordable housing for the homeless, uh, for um, uh, students and families, even if it's mixed, even if it's mixed housing. So, if you're a resident, uh, voter of Berkeley, please sign my petition. Thank you very much, Paul. <laughs> These books are available.